The hero section of your website is a great place to do something powerful that just grabs the attention of the user, engages their emotions, and invites them to the explore the rest of the website with anticipation. Background videos are a great way to do that because um, they're just so engaging. Um, this background video for a website that I created for my church, New City Eastlake, uh, uses a Vimeo embed. So we're going to be recreating uh, this background video in Webflow. So let's begin by jumping into the designer. And the first thing I wanted to point out is um, you do need to set a, a height and width for um, your section that's going to contain the video. Currently, uh, this is set to 100VW and 100VH. Uh, v stands for viewport, which is basically the space that the website takes up. So by saying 100VW by 100VH, basically saying 100% of the viewport. Uh, but we don't actually want that. Uh, we want our video to be full bleed, kind of full width. And so we actually need to preserve the video's aspect ratio. And the way we're going to do that is by using padding. So we're actually going to get rid of this width, make it back to normal. We're going to make the height zero pixels. And then padding, we're going to make it 56.25%. That is the uh, 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Uh, if I divide 9 by 16, I think I'm saying, <laughs> getting that right. If I divide 9 by 16, I get 56.25. So that's why we're using that percentage in our padding. All right, next is we're going to add our embed. So uh, here my content wrapper. I'm going to add an embed. And then I'm going to hop over to Vimeo. And they've got this embedding background videos article. And I'm simply stealing uh, this little bit of embed code. And I'll make sure that I link um, this article in the description of the video. All right. Next is um, I don't want the height and width to have these fixed um, pixel amounts. So I'm going to make the width and the height 100 percent. All right. And then last, this string of numbers is referencing which video it is that you want to use. So uh, I've already got my video selected. I'm going to steal that string of numbers, come back, replace it save and close. All right, so currently my video is not full bleed. It's just sitting in the middle. And the way we fix that is by styling the embed itself. So video embed. And uh, I've already got one there, so I'm just going to use video embed two. And we want to set our width to 100% and our height to 100%. All right. Um, uh, next, we want to set the positioning of our video to be absolute and to fill the container. So the way I do that is under the position, um, I'm going to click absolute, fill the container. All right, perfect. And then the last thing I'll do is currently the video is um, it's playing, but it's sitting on top of some of my content. So some of the content in the here is being obscured by this background video. And we can use Z index to kind of create this artificial stacking order and send the video to the back. Right, so over here in Z index, I'm going to set this to minus 10. And my video is going to jump to the back of uh, my hero's content. All right, and that is it. It's as simple as that. Um, I should mention that I believe according to Vimeo, you had to be a, let me hop over to the article. You have to be a plus pro or business member so that the play or pause button doesn't appear on embedded background videos. Uh, so luckily this video, uh, that's the case for this um, channel. And so I'm able to just kind of display without any kind of play button. And uh, anyways, um, it's as easy as that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure that you hit subscribe so that as I keep uploading new videos with fresh content on Webflow and also other graphic design topics like branding and print design and uh, stationary, all the stuff like that, uh, you'll get uh, notified when those uh, uh, videos get uploaded. So thank you guys so much. Talk to you soon.